right, so um, this is going to be my uh, multi, I guess, day long adventure into uh, doing all my wiring and getting this Elite 1500 installed. All right, so I thought about doing this over multiple videos, but I think I'm just going to cram everything into one long video. So you can see um, I already have my wiring pulled through, uh, and there's some, some more over here. I'd like to group it into different things, like um, I think the blues, the injectors, and then we have stuff for... Um, the cam timing control, the ignition system, uh, and then a lot of this stuff is sensors. And actually while I'm doing, uh, when I'm doing the ignition stuff, we're actually not going to use any of the um, o OEM ignition because one of the uh, secret fun upgrades that I'm doing for this one is the stock ignition coils are a two-wire coil. And uh, I should have pulled one of these out to show. So we'll just cut to that. All right, so if I can get some light in here. Well, you can't really tell. Anyway, these ignition coils are a three wire coil and they are a smart one, uh, smart ignition coil, whereas these ones are the OEM ones normally are called dumb ignition coils because they only have two wires. So these are actually, I got had some help from uh, Tim Herber with Gen Coop store, uh, but these are basically off of every modern um, Hyundai and Kia. There is like 14 different models and I picked up a bunch of these used off of a Sonata or something with like 40,000 miles and I got them for like 45 bucks. I got really lucky. Uh, but the reason the three-wire ignition coil is um, really cool, um, these actually match, uh, change gears real quick, but the, the height matches so you can still push them down into place. Um, and, good God, and you can use obviously the same mounting bolt. This will work for BK1s and BK2s. Um, but I have a BK1, and unfortunately, you can't see super close, but there's a mounting bolt here for this um, cover for your um, wiring harness. Uh, and then there's another bolt back here. Essentially, those have to be shaved down a little bit, and then these will fit um, down as far as they need to. Uh, and then you can bolt them down. So the um, when I get to the ignition stuff later, the reason that that is important, the three wire, is because when you have the Haltech Elite, you have to get a separate igniter in order to use your OEM coils. So basically anyone that makes like a patch harness, um, you, uh, you still have to buy that separate igniter because it can't trigger the firing. Whereas now, what um, what we can do is these are going to be some super robust coils. We will run an independent ground, a um, switched 12 volt. So when the car is on, there will be a constant 12 volt source. And then there's going to be a group of four wires. I think it's the green wires that are going to be the signals. So you're not going to have any sort of external uh, igniter because the igniters are already in this. So we're gonna run a wire directly from the Haltech, which is already in this harness, directly to here, and we'll have a separate um, 12 volt and ground for it. So essentially, um, that's the big thing about when you get like a patch harness, that you have to um, do additional wiring so those patch harnesses are like a thousand dollars so basically if you want to do what i'm doing and kind of just start tracing some wires you can save yourself about a thousand dollars plus another couple hundred bucks for buying an igniter just to run a haltech 1500 or 2500 and 
Um, the benefit to that Haltech now is the fact that if you ever engine swap or do anything like that or you want to uh, reloom the entire bay and only run on the on the Haltech, you have the flexibility to do that and you can do um, whatever you want. Okay, so uh, like I showed earlier, the Elite 1500, um, a lot of people have asked me why I'm using this one and instead of the, the Platinum Plug-in Pro that uses the stock connectors that you just plug in and you can go. So this is basically the new technology. That Platinum Plug-in Pro is the old tech at this point. Um, and this one has way more resolution, has way more features than the other one. So if you're going to go through the hassle of it, in my opinion, it's go with these Elite Series, not with the Platinum Plug-in. So, um, I'll show you. Ignore the huge mess because um, obviously I'm still working on the wiring. So, a lot of, I have some excess wires here because the Elite can actually be used, I think, up to like eight cylinders. So there's going to be extra stuff for ignition and um, injectors and all that kind of stuff. There's going to be some leftovers. But anyway, um, what I did was I routed those wires and there's a little plastic cover that I took off. Uh, and I just slit that grommet open a little bit, routed the wires through there. And I think what I'm going to try and do long term is... I'll have to take some of the center console apart, but I think I'm going to try and slide it in right under that way, or it'll be in there this way. That way, the connections that I need, I can just kind of run them up through here. Yeah, you can see here it actually has a port on there, and there is a wires that you can run to your own solenoid. So essentially, you can run a boost um, reference here, uh, and now you don't need a separate boost controller because this will be your boost controller. You're not gonna have something in the car that you need to adjust uh, the boost pressure and then change your maps in this based off of what you change your boost pressure to. All right, on to the, uh, the painful part here. So what I went through and did was, um, there was just tape on here and I'm basically gonna get some of that like fabric style tape and just rewrap it once I'm all done so it looks almost the same. But essentially, the hard part, uh, and I'll try and show this in a little bit, is that um, you essentially have to get out your multimeter, stick one probe on the wire that you need to check, and then I would recommend actually getting micro probes, but right now I have mine to this really thin wire, and I can stick it through the um, OEM connector and I can trace what wire is what. Now I do have some pinouts uh, with the diagrams for what these are, but given the different in difference in color uh, for wires, which you should never go solely based on colors, like even when you're tracing wires like from somewhere on the engine to over here, don't base it solely on wires. You actually need to make sure that you have continuity all the way there because if you grab the wrong wire you're going to be in for some pain so you can see what i did here is this one is the one that i traced to um, injector one so since i trace this um, and i know that it's the correct one i just cut it and then um, i got these cool solder seal uh, connectors, which are basically heat shrink with um, solder in the middle. I take my heat gun, we just heat it up um, after you strip the wire ends and basically it heat shrinks it and solders it all as once, all at once. Uh, and this basically is going to be my first injector. Uh, and the other thing you'll want is to make sure you keep referencing this guide to make sure you have the colors uh, correct. So, um, these are my other 
these are the other injector wires because I wanted to start with something easy so what we will do is to make sure that we are tracking or tracing the correct wire all right on this one I already know that that pink wire is the signal wire okay so basically I stuck one probe in the signal wire there um, I have my multimeter on to a setting that it just beeps when you have uh, continuity and I'll show you here so we can see that we're getting continuity and it's obviously beeping and if I do the wrong pin whoops sorry about that you couldn't see what the hell I was doing if I go to the wrong pin no beep no resistance so and if I go back beep and resistance so that's essentially how you have to go through every wire cut solder and then essentially once you have all your connections then I am going to worry about kind of making it look clean and obviously you're gonna want to cut things to length as you go so uh, I'm gonna basically make a quick cut and then I will show you when I have some more of these things put together